Welcome happy campers, it's me Amanda here with Cookville RV Marine and today we're taking a look into this 2021 Momentum 397TH. But first, don't forget to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button and that bell notification icon because we're putting out a lot of videos and we know you want to see them. But let's start first with the storage. The passive storage on this Momentum is not only gigantic but it's fully finished easy to wipe out if you get dirt or anything on the inside there are two led lights one on this side one on the other side a battery dis disconnect on this side and we have our road vac system just right outside our door here just in case you need to vacuum something really quickly up but on the other side we have our utility bay here so all of our tanks and valves are fully insulated and everything is easily color coordinated and you have a nice graphic there as well one more LED light on this side, an auto leveling system, but the real kicker is in the outdoor entertainment space. Hanging out outside of this momentum is like a dream come true. No matter where you are, you have amazing views all around you from inside and out, thanks to these frameless windows, which are massive. And we have marine grade outside speaker system, which again, really cool because they've added in this outdoor TV. But one thing I want to mention is the hardware on these uh, doors here. They're metal. They're very sturdy. They're not cheap. And this is a great smart TV in here too. So that's definitely going to make this a very fun space. But on the back, we have our gigantic ramp door for this toy hauler. And it even has a nice LED light strip there on the top. And one thing I forgot to mention is all of the awnings. We have not only one, not two, but three massive awnings in this momentum. So that means that your party, your outside party can go from the very front before your door all the way to the back where you keep your toys in the back. So let's look inside. This thing is just as impressive on the inside as it is on the outside. But right when we walk in, a few things to note. We have our one touch control system right here next to the door that controls all of your lights, all of your awnings and even all of your slides from here. But if you get tired, there are some manual slide and awning retractors here just so you don't have to fiddle with the touch screen. We also behind this cabinet have our inside and outside speaker system controls here and it is Bluetooth audio. Again, super easy to come right in and change the song if you don't have your phone near you or something, super cool. But let's look at the kitchen. Starting off with one of my favorite features, the pantry. It's even lit up on every shelf, not just one at the top, which is super convenient. But speaking of that top, more storage hidden in random places in this momentum, but you have plenty of, plenty of room to carry everything everyone needs. Moving on to the kitchen, we have an Insignia residential style four burner top stove that's big enough to really hold a massive turkey or even a meal for a whole family. A residential microwave insignia as well, it all matches, and an RV style fridge on this particular momentum. Super big, it is gas and electric, which is really awesome. And again, there's plenty of room to hold all the cooking materials needed to make those awesome meals. Right here in the sitter is the massive island that we have on this momentum. We have some amazing lighting up here at the top as well. We have our sink, which is a 50-50 stainless steel set in sink with a nice black finish removable nozzle uh, fixture here as well. Lots of drawers and storage here below and there's even some outlets so you can charge your phone or USB outlets so the kids can have somewhere central to charge their phone. Before we get to this area, let's not forget about our massive hutch that does come built into this momentum. Plenty of space for coffee, even machines or little blenders that you want to keep out in, but not on your prepping space, which would be your island. There's LED lights underneath here and some extra plugs and plenty of storage for cups, bowls, serving utensils, and anything else you need to carry on your long trip. Looking across from our kitchen into one of our slides. Again, this is a massive slide. I'm almost six foot, five foot 11, and I'm nowhere near the top. There's also some really awesome accent lighting here, so it adds a little bit of a different flair to it. We've opted for this floor plan, a dinette and a uh, theater seating option, but you can opt for a, a super sofa, which has a chase and a fold out uh, bed underneath that as well. I love the dinette option because the chairs are really high quality and it has a table extension and again all these windows are gorgeous from the inside out even when you're parked somewhere completely new. Onto the entertainment section we have a massive smart TV that's on a swivel great for movie nights or even enjoying after a long hike. Down below we have a fireplace that does double as an electric heater as well it's very beautiful when it's turned on and I love this modern accent I really have upgraded their 
uh, accents around this momentum. Above here, more storage again for anything you need to carry, maybe uh, DVDs, movies, games. This is a great place and it's very centrally located. Before we go into our toy hauler section, just note here above, we do have a large bunk. That'd be a very awesome place for some kids to hang out or even to have their own little private space. That's not so private. That way you can keep an eye on them. But let's move into the toy hauler section. Looking inside, one of the first things you'll notice is we have two Happy Jack rollover sofas. So those easily just roll right over into a bed option or it makes room for the bed lift, which is optional, but we've added it in. It's just another sleeping area, but the controls are on the wall next to all the light controls here as well. They've added in some storage above. I'm not sure why or what you would put in there. It seems a little bit far away from the bed to be used as like a nightstand, um, but definitely more storage is always good in a camper. But there's one thing back here that may surprise you. That's right, a bathroom. And it's super convenient because the toy hauler section has its own entrance. So this is the bathroom for your guests. I'm five foot 11 in this round shower. It's a little tight, I would tell you, but definitely doable, especially for my height. Removable shower head. They've really added some awesome concrete look, modern accents on these sinks here as well. And there's plenty of storage with a mirrored front cabinet and even extra linen storage space here next to the shower. And not to mention how tall this bathroom actually is. But as usual, toy hauler section is nothing without some tie down for all the things you'll be hauling in this section. And even we've added a TV up here. So whoever's on that Happy Jack rollover sofa or even the bed lift will have something to watch late at night. Moving towards the master wing, first thing we want to touch before we get to the stairs is the vacuum accessories you have here. Just sweep in your dirt right into the receptacle here at the bottom of the stairs and it's super easy. They even have a place for the hose to connect so you can definitely vacuum out everything in this living area. But let's move towards the bathroom. Looking into this bathroom, first thing I can say is bright and plenty of lighting, especially with this skylight in here. It's definitely a good place to get ready for your day and you may not be wearing makeup, but it's a good place to do makeup anyway. We have a porcelain foot flush toilet, a little bit of extra storage here above that, like they added that in. A nice big shower that is all one fiberglass piece. And this is a really heavy duty shower head here as well with two body sprays, a removable shower head and a rain shower head. And they've even added in this really nice wood bench here, which is really residential style and home. It feels great in here. Um, nice countertop with lots of big spaces here. Mirror front for the medicine cabinet and more storage behind. An outlet on the side and I love the new faucets they've added that are taller. You got plenty of places or space to wash your hands below here as well. It's super great. I love the upgrades. Into the master we have a gigantic king size bed that's located in a slide. And if you notice the slide has three windows, I really like the quirky little windows they're adding in. They really let you allow, they allow you to see both this side and the other side of the RV while in your master. We have a lot of accent lighting here and uh, the light switch is right next to that window over there. So no need to get up just to turn off those lights. But on the other side, right next to our door is our built-in dresser. Lots of drawers here. And of course they're all easy open close. This is a nice big window that looks directly onto your outdoor entertainment space. And we did opt to, opt to add in a smart TV in the master here as well. Another spare outlet, just in, in case, I guess it's nice that they added that in. But this is our big closet that it does have a washer and dryer receptacle in it. So this will be where you put your washer and dryer combo or a stackable unit. Or if not, you want to opt for just a closet. Definitely has a hanging space there and an extra storage for like a shelf there. But another closet we have, double sliding doors, both mirror fronts, an accent lighting in your closet here as well. Lots of place to hang things, lots of places for shoes and folded clothes. They've really finished this out. Every little detail is finished and there's plenty of room here for everyone's things. But we have one more storage option just in this master. Right next to our bed, they've added in this cubby-like storage here on the side two USB outlets and another regular outlet here. I'm thinking magazines, books, drinks, anything you need besides your bed at nighttime and then more storage above here. I really how they, I like how they've added a lot of storage on this momentum. So what do you think about this momentum? Can you imagine the whole family hanging out? If so, visit us here at Cookville RV Marine or visit us online at cookvillerv.com where your adventure awaits.